Sunday evening. So I'm going to start, please. Simon? Hi, Pep. Um, as home openers go, doesn't get much better than that? Or do you take, or are you critical of the way no, the team started? No, no, no. The, the team has started really well in the front foot. We play really good, but the opponents play and make an exceptional action and and uh, and credit credit to them. So, but they start. I think in front foot always we talk about that after a win World War in the past. You know, think about uh, if win is not good enough. You know, for what we achieve, this is the only problem we can have. And when I see the team for the first minute, it's completely the opposite. How respect if each other? Why is I said to them a team who would have promoted League One to Championship, Championship, the Premier League? It's because there's something special. And I saw the game against Liverpool, how tough it was. Of course, away in the stadium in the first game, it was more, more, more difficult than maybe today. But uh, yeah, we play in front foot. We first half, we create to win the game 4 or 5. The game will be over, and 3 1 is always, <clears throat> you know, score the two goals, and second goal is always a problem. But I think we behave and we play. And the level that we start in, in Stamford Bridge and today, in, with the lack of preparation that we had, most of us, so have the 2 2 2 is it's really good. Hello, Pep. And we all know how good Erling Haaland is, but how important is it for him to be up and running in, in that sort of style so early in the season? I think I said uh, a few weeks ago, I think he feels better than the like previous season after the travel. He struggled to handle it and maybe not too much holidays. And, and I remember the beginning, I said, I still am tired, still I am a bit drained. And this, this season for no Euros and relax and arrive really well. We we talk a little bit in in the States, like I didn't like some mm -mm, uh, things that, uh, and he changed I think mine. And I think, of course, he cannot play all the games until the end of the season. Uh, but you know how important it is, the numbers, the scoring goals and goals is unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, you, you just touched on what I was going to ask, actually, that as much as he, he will have suffered a, a, a summer of frustration watching the others play at the Euros, it was great for City that he wasn't there. Yeah. Really. You're re reaping the benefit of that, really. When, when there is something wrong, always because there's coming something positive. So always you have to try when you, you have a defeat, OK, take the positive of this defeat for move, move forward. So he will have loved to go to with Norway to the Euros. It was not the case. Okay, relax, play good uh, this season and the other ones to, to play good with him and qualify or help to qualify Norway to the next next tournament. Crap. Hi, Pep. I, would, uh, also, uh, uh, I also would like to ask you uh, about Savinho. Uh, he looked very sharp again. Yeah, first half better than second. Second was more difficult because they, they changed to five in the back and so, so deep, especially their minor. But the penalty he created, uh, the first action with the cross as well, uh, winning the with the intuition in the pressing, you know, the second, yeah. So it's short time here and his impact is already good. Jens? Hi, Pep. Um, I saw both after the 1-1 one, one goal and the 2-1 goal that the players were really eager to get the game started again, run right back to the middle of the pitch and let's go again. How would you like to see that sort of reaction? Body language, is, body language is still there. Body language is still there. Define the team, the body language, how defend the set pieces or uh, throw-ins, and how when attack the have the ball to attack, to, to first action is to threat the opponent, but still is there. So it's just two games, so season will be long, will be up and down for sure. But uh, I think everybody is, is committed and ready to, to do it. Hi, Pep. Um, Harlan now has as many hat tricks as Wayne Rooney had in his whole career. There's 16 Premier League seasons. Um, he's only five from reaching Aguero, who was here for a decade. How has he managed to get these numbers? Is it him or is it the team? What kind of. How has he uh, managed to make everyone else's numbers? He, he did it in Salzburg, he did it in Germany. Yeah, the numbers are ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. So he can. Compete in terms of goals, goals with Cristiano Messi. The numbers are unbelievable. His age, short age, amount of goals, and it's incredible threat for us. And we are really, really happy to have him. And hopefully, he can be 
here for many many years so it will be a good a good a good for us really good for us hi pat um how's mateo i didn't speak with the doctors to be honest i think it was a a knock uh leon the lab we know we was here so aggressive with that and unfortunately hopefully we have six days six seven days until the next game so hopefully he can recover and Issa Kabore was on the bench today. Is he a player you see being part of the first team squad this maybe. season? Maybe. 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 Trying really good and he help us, you know, in the positions like sometimes we need it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we have to decide. Not already decide. Embargo for ten thirty on Sunday evening. We'll start with Ron.